Now you want to get journey map for Minecraft. You can find all of the links for this video in the description down below, but you can also Google, for example, journey map download, fabric download, fabric API download, if you would rather use Google, but truthfully, all of these links take you right to the official pages and the pages we're going to be using in the video in the description. So first things first is downloading journey map from the link here. Go to download journey map and it takes you to the official download page on CurseForge where you want to select the version you're going to be installing. We are going to be installing the fabric version though. So make sure you click on mod loaders here and select fabric. You'll see all the different fabric versions. You can refine it more by game version. We'll go with the most recent, but this will work for any version. Hover over that most recent version, click the three dots and click download file. Fabric API will be Begin downloading after a few seconds where you may need to keep or save the file right like so just click save here and while that's downloading have a quick message from our company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server for you and your friends you can easily add mods like journey maps to the server and any mods that you want and even one click install mod packs from curseforge and modern so go check out simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh and start your minecraft server the simple way Nonetheless, we can then move on to getting fabric. This is, of course, the mod loader that allows JourneyMap to actually work with Minecraft. Again, you can Google Fabric Download or just go to this site and click Download Fabric. It will take you here where you want to click on Download for Windows and just like with the JourneyMap mod, we need to keep or save the file. Last but not least, we need the Fabric API. This is an API mod that is required for Minecraft. Fabric mods for JourneyMap to work with Minecraft and Fabric. So come here, click Download Fabric API, and we want to be downloading that 1.21.7 version of the Fabric API, and again, keep or save the file. Right like so, and we are good to go. We can now minimize our browser, and I'm going to move everything to the desktop just for ease of use, but you can also leave everything in your downloads folder as well, because it's not going to be staying here long. Starting off, we'll open up the Fabric installer. Just double click on it, and it will open like any other program. Make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed, and click install. Fabric will now install for 1.21.7. As you can see, it's now successful. Click OK and you can close and delete the Fabric installer and we can install Journey Map into Minecraft. To do that, open up the Minecraft launcher and don't play. Don't play Minecraft yet. Just open the Minecraft launcher because we're going to be installing the mod before we even get in game. This is done by going up here to the top, finding that Fabric Loader installation. If you don't see it, make sure Mod is checked in the top right. Hover over it, click the folder icon, and then you'll have a mods folder. Open that mods folder and drag and drop Journey Map and the Fabric API into it right like so. Now, play Minecraft using your Fabric installation. You have to play Minecraft using Fabric, otherwise it's not going to work and Journey Map won't be installed. But since Journey Map's installed in your mods folder and you're playing with Fabric, we can see that Journey Map is in fact installed in game. This is done by, once you're in game, pressing J. And here we are. We've got Journey Map open. You can close this and be able to see things. Obviously, we are in the nether right now. If we go back to the overworld, we'll be able to load the overworld in on our mini map as well. And yeah, you're, you're good to go. You now have Journey Map up and running in Minecraft. And if you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. You can do a lot with Journey Map, by the way. You can add waypoints and things like that, for example. If you go down here, you'll be able to see your waypoints, everything that's here, like our last death location in the Nether, for example. But you can also add new waypoint groups and even add new waypoints by clicking here. And we can name this our spawn, for example. And when we go in game, you have to back away from it a bit and it will appear. And we can also see it on our full screen map there. And I think it might even appear on the mini map in the top right. It does. So there you have it. That's how you can get Journey Map. We'll see you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if it helped you out. And I'm out. Peace.